this came in today and we've already got it on charge charging the battery and this battery fits up inside the uh, lower arm put it together and take it out and give it a shot today so excited high frequency coil um, for the future I want to go out to uh, Arizona Colorado got some trips planned and uh, do a little prospecting with this coil got my new 13 inch coil in it comes with a lower shaft and just have to charge it so if you want to add a new coil to your controller into your headphones it's not too difficult one you gotta get the serial number on it and then we'll get it added All right so we start by not covering up any of the microphone holes turn it on Here we go. We don't need any speaker. We go to option. Let's go. Huh. This happens sometime with this buttons. Okay, so backlight is on so we can see. And then um, let's come out of the hair. Uh, let's go to coils. You select. You see the empty slot, number three. We'll select that. And we will select three. Edit serial number. So our serial number is 21178 Echo. So we go to two. Um, 11, 11, what did I say, 78 echo, 78, just put it in, there's 78, and then just run it on up till you get to um, the letters, that's echo, validate, And back out. Okay. We'll back out of it. And let's go to config. Let me go turn. I should have left the damn speaker on. So hang on a second. Come on. There we go. Whoa. And then there he is. She's alive. It's going to be a little bit chirpy because I'm in the house. Not a very smart idea. Turn the sensitivity down, but whatever. Here we go. Oh, yeah, all kind of goodies up in there, aside from the schnoz rag, right? So, the coils verify. Okay, we can go ahead and shut that off. Yeah, it's gonna be chirpy. Sorry about that, guys. Now, take four. All right, we're gonna add, um this coil to these headphones. I did it real quick yesterday with uh, the HF coil for some reason. I'm forgetting a step here. So, let's try it again. Um, right now we have no coil selected, so we'll use the menu button to run down to where it says coil. Zero two coil. That means it's on coil number two, which is the HF coil. Coil one is the nine inch um original coil that came with the dais that or that i got with the dais so we want to hit the plus sign that's coil number three press and hold the plus sign and that puts it into um well the mapping mode or you're going to map in the serial number now so we said uh two and you press menu again one okay 
press it again it gets you over to the it sequences you over to the next two digits 211 what the hell was it 211 uh, what did I say 78 78 okay hit menu again set you into the third sequence 78 and then menu again to push you over one and we should be echo okay that's it now you'll see it connect you'll see the little icon all of a sudden you'll see the coil pop up there it is you'll be able to hear it okay that's it you're all mapped in so whatever coil you're hunting with obviously you have to go to the coil um, selection in the menu and um, select coil one two or three um, you'll know what your coils are of course and because um, if you do turn the remote into coil two and this is sitting on a coil three um, it's going to work a little weird uh, you're not going to hear anything that's that's you know because it's not mapped into the proper coil that's all real simple i'll get this bad boy out into that park check it out at a park here in um yukon it's here i don't know a month and a half ago two months it's raining but uh, it was the other side of the park and i was hunting in a little kitty area here's another one this is an older area i know that I see some of the much older uh recreational area for the kids tot lot so uh gonna gonna hunt that area and uh see how we do yeah why not check it out what am i doing here oh we got the wrong side all right these out. Hit through. That is, I love that bottle. batteries. Yeah, but it's gonna be a short hunt. Oh, I thought I had my batteries in here. No in trouble now. It's like it's like John forgot his batteries. <laughs> well, uh, yes, indeed, Mr. John forgot his batteries. So, all I got is the one in the previous hunt. All I got is the one is in the GoPro here. What do I got here? A bullet. This is some kind of acorn, you can see a pin, or something, I don't know what it is, found a little piece of jewelry, some pennies, used about two and a half, three down here, I like to hunt it close to my feet, okay, and then uh, pull this stem out, lock it down, it's ready to go. Had a pretty cool meeting on Zoom last night. Every Wednesday, uh, Pack Rat Pat has a uh, Zoom meeting. I think it's seven and ten Eastern. The ten o'clock meeting could get a little bit uh, funny, <laughs> but um, we were talking about the Deus, and of course I have one. I had an Equinox. It's gone. Sold it. Got this. But uh, yeah, everything on these days is more or less are in the coil not in the remote control remote control is your little information center i guess 
kind of like a monitor there's not much there but everything lives in the in the coils and that's why these coils are 300 and friggin something dollars a piece they put you in the poorhouse quick but uh have the elliptical i'll eventually go out to colorado and arizona i want to hunt with bill southern um communicate with him a little bit as well he's a nice guy man real nice guy and then um and bill southern uh has a channel as well on youtube he hunts gold in arizona and then the big 13 for the fields here parks parks in oklahoma are a huge humongous 30 40 acres just to get yourself mentally it took me a long time man um, you got to really pick a spot and just hit it and then you're just gonna have to come back you turn the machine on you got to kind of get it up chest high she'll, she'll, she'll boot up a note of the speaker because I have my headphones and then you'll see down here flashing no coil may not be able to see that and then when it stops flashing it's sitting on uh, program 9 which is hot cold hot yeah, 17 kilohertz so that's uh for what we're going to do here that's probably a good number to run and uh, i do enjoy the hot program and right now i'm only using factory programs i had some other stuff in here but uh you know what back out of that because it's getting getting a little bit too uh much maybe i turn the speaker on why not so you can hear all the it adds to the hunt, I guess. I'll just hear both. There we go. There's a big old king. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so we're gonna walk up a little hill here and like I say we're gonna hit this little area back in here. The trees just hit the grounds. Small area. And uh, I'm gonna work it, so we'll see what happens. Seventy-three. <laughs> Okay, it's a 74. Oh, I think I already see it. Good boy. Yep, I know the park's been around a while. That's old school tab there, Fishdale. Alright, on to the next. It's a 46. too deep on it. Light bulb. Oh, light bulb. All right. Okay, <clears throat> before the battery really dies, here's a coin and a plug. And this says it's a token. Car wash token. It's got a picture of a Model T. Um, no cash value. I don't know how old these are, but looks old. No cash value. Car wash token. And there's the old car. I don't know how old these are. Pretty cool. No cash value. Anything else? That's it. Just looks antique ish. All right. On to the next. 90. 89.90. Yesterday's rather unimpressive short hunt. 
Found a key, a little lock, some dimes. Found this car wash token. These were um, issued, I think. Well, I read it's a. It's, I don't know, 40s to the 60s or something. So found it in the park. It's all park hunting yesterday. Bunch of dimes in that park. I don't know why so many. And then uh, POJ pile of junk. I'm telling you, man, I found a bunch of these. Look. Light bulbs, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. Man, there were a whole bunch of them in that park. I don't know why. But uh, that's it, man, for the rest. All right. There's a little relic I pulled out. Um, give me a high tone, low tone. You see that? It's obviously a knife. There's the pommel. But uh, I, I think the pommel's made of something else because, uh, or in this. Um, hand guard or finger guard is made of something else because I was getting a low high tone on this elliptical. It was a very interesting tone um, and I almost didn't dig it but I just kept hitting that high tone. I thought it was kind of like iron wrapping but it just didn't sound like that. Just a little bit different so um, yeah just pulled out a nice little knife. And uh, I'm down there too deep. Just get there. So you never know what you find in these parks. Let's, I can clean this blade up and see what it is, but I think it's it's toast. That that's rusted and that's gone too. So it's been in the ground for a while. Yeah, interesting. All right. All right. Wrap up video time. Short hunt. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> anyway, the normal. I was using different kilohertz, so these come in at you know 14, 31. They, they're going to come in different. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, got uh, a piece of a rivet. There's old stage areas down in there. Um, Obviously, pull rings of different eras. Um, they all ring different. Uh, 25 caliber. Rim fire. Looks like it's rim fire. Here's a nickel. Let's see if I can get a 1977. And here's that knife. Again, I think this piece and this piece are two different metals because uh, it um, I could hear that high tone I mean I walked you know you start walking that angle just waving that double D on top all of a sudden there was that sweet spot and I, I just knew it was an iron wrap it sounded different obviously it had a wooden handle which is rotted off okay and then I found this little copper bow tie little flowers and stuff on it maybe a pin that's old obviously old as well so yeah, that's it short hunt all right for today and uh see what tomorrow brings